Well, now news extra here on KNEB and brought to you by First State Bank, Scotts Bluff and Gehring. Here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. And it's the uh, week after Memorial Day, and that means we're we're counting it down the last few days before the, believe it or not, the 29th annual Sugar Valley Rally, eclipsing 150 years. <laughs> Barb Netherland is here to tell us all the latest. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Good. So it's this weekend, the second through the fourth, and uh, so uh, just a lot of good things to do. Let's start first of all with the second. You have 56 cars, right? Yes. And from all over. All over. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you're looking at um, California to the west, Florida to the east. How do you guys manage to get all these cars coming in from all these states? Well, we run ads in uh, car show magazines, yeah. and so that that's how we draw some. Also, um, the group that sanctions the rally, the VCI, yeah. VCRA, they have connections with, you know, they, they host other rallies yeah. and kind of tell people about us. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, that's, how, that's how some of those uh, people find out about us. And they yeah. also were a good place to practice for the great race. Yeah. So some of them are great racers that come in just to learn to read instructions better or something. Yeah. And that's a big thing, reading the instructions. <laughs> that, that's uh, the only thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Being a participant in the past, that's one of the big things is knowing how to read the instructions. All right. So we start out with uh, the tech inspection on Thursday. That's at the uh, WNCC Auto Tech Building. Then we start with Rally School on Friday over at the Harms Center, and we have some new participants this year, so rally school will be very important for them, right? It's it's even important for the veteran yeah. racers, but right. for especially for the rookies, they yeah. need to they need to go and listen very closely to how yeah what's going on the tips <laughs> yeah the tips on how to do it and how, how to, to read it. instructions and where there's a kind of an iffy instruction this year or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you always have lunch for the rallyists at the Harm Center at noon on Friday. And then the practice rally starts with a pit stop over in LaGrange. And one of the best places to watch the cars is J.G. Elliott after they're done with the rally. J.G. Elliott is hosting the business after hours this year, and yep. all of the cars will gather there. Uh, in the evening, beginning of probably about five o'clock, yeah. right around that, and they'll be there until um, six thirty or seven, and that's that's one of the places that all of the cars will yeah. be together. Yeah, so. that's on Friday evening, over at uh, JG Elliott, and we'll talk about the weekend and all the stuff going on there right after this. Need to expand or remodel your building, increase your inventory, or have access to working capital. Let our experienced business loan team help you grow your business. We specialize in business loans. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. All right, we're back on News Extra, talking to Barb Netherland about this year's Sugar Valley Rally. Coming up this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we've got through the uh, practice rally on Friday. Now, the rally really begins on Saturday with the ceremonial start at Panhandle Co-op. Yes, and that's another great place to view all the cars because they'll all be um, gathered there waiting for the start. And we're flagged this year by Miss Scottsbluff County. Um, Nikki Anderson will be our, our ceremonial uh, start flag person. So, yeah. Um, come out and join us there. Yep. Uh, the uh, rally starts at 8 o'clock, and then that's when the first car goes, and then every minute after that, uh, car starts from co-op. Pit stops on Saturday. They'll be at the Broadwater Country Store at 940, and then lunch at Five Rocks, and that's hosted by the uh, Scotts Bluff County Realtors, right? Y yes, there, and that will be lunch for the teams. For the teams. Right. Okay. A and uh, we're, we're very beholding to the people that do all these pit stops and, and lunches. Yep. And another pit stop at Laura Lee's Double L Cafe on Highway 71 in Banner County. And then the finish at Panhandle Co-op again. On a Saturday uh, afternoon around 4 o'clock, that's before the banquet and social gathering at the right. Civic Center. Right. And so that, the cars will just come in and people probably will leave right away. So. Yeah, right. 
And the social gathering, the banquet's kind of cool at the Civic Center. You get find out the first day who had aces and who's ahead and all that kind of stuff. Right. It's kind of fun. <laughs> kind of fun. And then Sunday, uh, uh, breakfast, the Knights of Columbus, that's open to the public and the drivers starting at 6.30 prior to the start, right? Right. Yes. And then we leave from there. Okay. And then uh, talk about what happens after uh, Knights of Columbus on Sunday. Okay. Then there'll be a pit stop at Legacy of the Plains. And then uh, then we have our big finish at Cozad's uh, Antique Ford Garage, which is uh, the Gary Merchant sponsor, a finish line luncheon, and that's also open to the public, um, and, and as well as Cozad's Garage. So people are invited to tour there, um, purchase uh, what, whatever, I don't know, the, a meal from the Gearing Merchants. And also, it's another great place to view the cars. Um, we have, we ordered a, uh, some a pretty cool stainless steel mugs <laughs> with the this year's logo, logo on them. And those will be for, for sale there, too, I think. Okay. So. Very good. That's over at uh, Cozad's Garage in Gearing. And about a 30 seconds, we want to thank all the volunteers and the sponsors, right? Oh, yeah. We have a lot of uh, corporate sponsors, sponsors of all, mm-hmm. all sorts. And we, we have a ton of volunteers that manage just every, every bit of, of the rally yeah. and, and provide so many uh, services to them. And okay. We couldn't do it without them. <laughs> That's right. All right. The 29th Annual Sugar Valley Rally, June 2nd through the 4th. That's how you can... Watch the cars and kind of participate. Appreciate it, Barb. Thank you.